Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, Monday, October the 19th, 2020. I've, I, I finally got around to running some, uh, to finding the data and running some analysis on something I've been curious about for a while, and that is polio cases, you know, specifically childhood polio cases in America. And it's, uh, and so I, I went on, on the, uh, our world in, in uh, what's it called, our world in data. Our world in data.org, and I found the polio numbers by year for Kate, both cases and deaths. Okay, so we're going to take a look at first at the at the at the uh, data set from 1910 to 1979, and then we'll take uh, well, then we'll take a look at it between 1950 and 1979. So we're going to actually zoom in and see the year when the polio vaccine was first administered. So the first question is. When was the polio vaccine developed, and when was it uh, first really administered? So the first vaccine was developed in the early 1950s. Uh, the polio vaccine, known as an inactivated polio vaccine, IPV, or Salk vaccine, was developed in the 1950s by an American physician, Jonas Salk. This vaccine contained killed virus and is given by injection. Now, I've... I remember taking some form of oral vaccination, and, and this would be in like 1960-61. Now, it could be I just forgot about the injection, but I still not remember oral. But it says here, the large-scale use of IPV began in February 1954 when it was administered to American school children. Now, the, now, the, now the real push for a polio vaccine and the childhood polio treatment was actually began with the president uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who late in life, who had, as an adult, contracted uh, childhood polio, and he was the one who really led the charge, and uh, uh, for to develop a vaccine and battle this this this, this scourge on American children. Okay, but again, February fourteenth. Now, according to another article, okay, don't have marked. It says, since, since 1979, no case of polio have originated in the U.S. So we've been, so polio was eradicated. So prior to 1979, it was still considered to be active case of polio in the U.S. Okay. So you get, you get to the point is this. It took from 1954 to 1979 for the polio, child of polio to be officially eradicated in the U.S. Now, obviously, as we'll see, the number dropped off tremendously after the first four or five years, but there were still a few cases laying out there. And this last note here is, however, the virus has been brought into the country by travelers with polio. The last time this happened was in 1993. First of all, let's come down here. Let's, let's pull on our data. As you can see, the total number of uh, of uh, Polio cases was 607,477. The total number of polio deaths has been 59,511. So let's, let's just do a plot of this entire uh, data set here. Okay. So this is 1940. And I'm going to do, do one more thing up here. Sorry about that. I'm just going to try to change the... Uh, Okay. Now, so this would be 1950. This the spike is in 1953. So it's in 54 when when the uh, the polio vaccine was first administered, and you can see the decline here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the way down to here, we still had cases. So from 54 all the way down to maybe 1965, we still had a few, even though the most work was done back over here, there were still lingering cases as late as probably 1955. But it wasn't until 1979 when it was officially eradicated cases. Well, let's take a look at this. Same period, 1910, 1979. Uh, you know, if you, if, in some respects, deaths 
uh, weren't really that great. But it, was, but it was a very devastating disease because it was a very long, because it, because you became paralyzed, but, and it took, uh, and you weren't killed overnight either. Many of these young people spent entire lives in what was called iron lungs, iron lungs, okay? Because the problem with polio is it basically paralyzed your lungs so you can't read, I think. But anyway, once again, 1950, okay? 1953. Now you can see the deaths beginning to decline. But again, it wasn't so, it, like I say, it really took from 1953 to, say, 1965, okay, to really get rid of almost all the, all the cases. Now, let's, let's zoom in on this 1950 to 1970 period now, okay? And once again, we can see here, 50, 55, so this would be 53, right? 55. This would be 53. The vaccine began to be administered in 1954. You can see the decline with all these bars of years. So it's administered here, but it still took one, two, three, four years really make a dent, and it still continued on even after that a little bit. That's cases, right? Let's take a look at deaths now. You can see there's a few deaths lingering out here, okay? Once again, 51, 2, 3. This should have been 53 here, I believe, okay? So once again, it began to be ministered here, but still, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It still took almost ten years to almost to get rid of all the cases, polio cases in America. And officially, it wasn't again until 1979 when that occurred. So I I I think there's a cautionary tale, and that is, even if we have you know. Even once we get the COVID-19 vaccine, it could take several years for it to really completely, I mean, to almost completely eradicate it. Okay? So this, this gives us hope that what a vaccine can accomplish. But again, it's a, it's a cautionary tale not to expect an overnight miracle. Okay? And the other thing about this Every school child in America was vaccinated. Okay. We're probably not going to vaccinate every person in America with COVID, the COVID-19 bars vaccine. Okay. So anyway, I hope this gave you something to think about, particularly in terms of a, uh, of, of, a of the effect of a vaccine once it's, once it's widely distributed. Okay. Anyway, thanks so much for your time this evening. We'll catch you on the next report.